Welcome to the Computer Assisted Role Playing Game. This video is intended to give you the basic introduction you need to get started. The Computer Assisted Role Playing Game is a multiplayer system. In order to play, you'll need some friends. Once you've created your account and logged into the system, you have the option to use either a one shot adventure or to join a community called a fellowship. The difference between a one shot adventure and a fellowship is that in a one shot adventure, once you've completed the module, all of your gains, your loot, your skills, and everything are lost because they're tied directly to that module. In a fellowship, you can have adventurers that persist across multiple modules and improve their skills and gain items and equipment as they go. The idea is that one-shot adventures are for people who just want something quick to do on an evening or whatever with some friends, whereas fellowships are for people who like to game on a regular basis and have their adventure continue and persist. In this example, I'll show a one-shot adventure. The differences between a one-shot and a fellowship are slight enough that you'll find you'll be able to do a fellowship with these instructions as well. Once you've been invited to a one-shot adventure, you'll see it show up. Here we have the Radom Ramsk Outpost. Once I've entered the startup screen, I can select a character and choose to play that character. Fellowship adventures are slightly different. You'll be able to select your character to add to the adventure, and then you can play the character. When all players have selected a character, the Game Master can start the game. The list of commands is context-based, meaning it can change based on what actions are available. For example, certain weapons may not be available to attack with if they are not loaded. Movement is fairly simple. You can move into areas that you can see simply by selecting Move, and then selecting where you want to go. Combat is simple. Weapons have a range, so some weapons will not be able to reach some targets. However, other weapons have a longer range and therefore can easily reach a target. After an attack, you can click on the Details button to see exactly what happened. After a single attack has happened, you are given the option to either cancel the attack or repeat it. An important aspect to adventuring is healing. There are some items in the game that will aid with healing, but right off the bat you have the option to rest the entire party. It's important to note that resting the party takes time. Depending on the game master, your rest might be interrupted. In order to get the treasure from chests, you'll need to open them. However, opening chests is a context sensitive activity. As you can see, I don't have the option to do it now because I'm not close enough to the chest. By closing the range, I then have the option to loot the treasure chest. At the end of a fellowship adventure, you can select your character and choose to upgrade anything where you've got enough experience. You can also visit the market and spend the money you've earned on better items. This concludes this introductory tutorial. I hope this has provided enough information for you to get started in the game. Enjoy!